Go get it. Hello, Kirby. Hello, GSP. Hello, Anna Marie. Hello, Taylor Creamer. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you all for joining. Not sure what we're going to do today. Not sure how long we're going to talk. Not sure if I have much to say. Just got home from a fairly long day. Hello. Good to be Eva. Eva. Uh, uh. But it is Saturday night. I believe it is January 7th. And my name is Ken Tracy. And this is Coffee with Ken. Except it's Coffee with Ken nighttime version. What was there? Many, many years ago, there was like a, at night, was it Baywatch or something? But then, then they had a, hello, John. They had a, <coughs> uh, like Baywatch at night. But it wasn't Baywatch, I don't think. If anyone could help me with it, I'd appreciate it. There was a regular show that was on during the day every day. And by the way, this is my dog, Holly. And she is playing, we're playing uh, with her piggy. And she's having a lot of fun. She's a little disappointed in me uh, in that I got home a little bit ago and we have not gone for a walk. And I don't think we're gonna go for a walk. Um, does anyone, can anyone tell me what movie I'm watching? I don't know how many people are watching, but I'd love you to tell me what movie I am watching. I wish I had a grand prize. Uh, I don't know who you are. Matt from TikTok, you should. No, it's not Ace Ventura. It's from 1991. It's an old, old movie. Yeah, it's Point Break. Woohoo! It's Point Break. Nice job. Actually, a fairly good movie. You know, I think now the times, uh, now the time has passed a little bit. And at first I thought it was a real kind of cheesy movie. I saw it in the theater way back in 1991 when it came out. And I thought it was kind of a cheesy movie at the time. And, uh, you know, I'm just catching the end of it here. But it's actually pretty darn good. You know, looking back, I don't know. I kind of got a soft spot. Uh, um, for, uh. Uh, Patrick Swayze, honestly, I don't know. Hold on, Holly. Hello, Holly. I really don't know what you should do with your boyfriend. Good evening, Jack Taylor. Uh, thank you. R.R. R. Johns is here. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining, R.R. R. Johns. I didn't know if you'd join me today. And I don't know how long I'm talking. And I'm only pushing live just for a little bit of fun. Uh... I just got home a little bit ago. Hello, Scott Concrete from Florida. And uh, I'm going to pop my feet up. I'm hoping Holly gets a little bored. Hello, South Jersey. South Jersey. Is South Jersey where, like, Jersey Shore was filmed? I didn't know Jersey had directions, really. I mean, I know there's South and North and East and West. Hello, hello. My dog Holly is here. And she's very excited. Uh, I just got home probably 20 minutes ago. Just enough time to cook up some frozen pizza. Not cook up some frozen pizza. Heat up some leftover. But go to Naperville off. We're in West Chicago. Okay. Uh, is in Flowers Gucci. You got a long name. You got a long name near Atlantic City. I've been to Atlantic City. Did the boardwalk. Went to the Taj Mahal, I believe. Had a good time in Atlantic City. Kind of a neat place. I think anything on a body of water is pretty darn cool. And uh, anyway, again, my name's Ken Tracy. I'm coming at you from Naperville, Illinois. Thank you so much for following the host, Kathy. I did just eat home run pizzas. 
I'm so predictable. Jack Taylor, I've already had my dinner. I had uh, three pieces of leftover uh, 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 sausage and pepperoni home run in pizza. The best uh, uh, frozen pizza around. I'm drinking. Last night was my first real effort at going live uh, here on TikTok at night. I go live every morning at about 8 o'clock. And last night, do you like DiGiorno at all? Yeah, DiGiorno's fine. DiGiorno's fine, and it's got its place in the cheap pizza world, along with Tombstone and some other brands. Uh, but Home Run In really sets itself apart. And, uh, you know, I think it's the perfect frozen pizza. So, anyway, last night it was uh, <laughs> Heineken Zero with Ken. Have you ever actually eaten at a Home Run In? No. Uh, no, there's actually one in uh, Bolingbrook, Naperville. It's interesting you ask that. I don't know if everyone out there... Hello, Dennis. Happy Saturday evening. Um, home Run Indian Pizza is a great, 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 great frozen pizza. And they actually have some pizza joints. And one's not too, too far from where I live. And I would, you know, I almost want to go just to see. I would imagine... Yeah, the Weber and Bowden. Jack Taylor, is their pizza better at the pizza shop than it is uh, frozen? I would hope that it is. Or is it the same? I'd be so disappointed if I went in and got the same quality pizza of a frozen pizza. Isn't Flower Zaguchi? you got to shorten that name. I don't even know what your name is. I think you're the one that changed it from user. Uh, yeah, I'd probably make a great video. Again, it's Saturday night, and it's almost 7 o'clock my time. I'm drinking some lemonade. Eh, deep dish roll from pizza for dinner. I uh, know, Jack Taylor. It's good enough for you to go out. Wait, don't say yes, that's me. Well, who's me? Who's that? Who's me? Somebody's trying to tell me who they are. Not me. Tell me your name. He's in Flowers Gucci. Anyway. Hey there, Shannon. I got some people coming in from a morning show. Anyway, I've been on TikTok for about 14 months. I have a great time here. Uh, I go live every morning at 8 o'clock. I post a fair amount of videos. I have a lot of fun. Today I'm kind of feeling a little relaxed. Uh, honestly, just kind of winding down my day and just got home and thought I'd pop in and see who was on. I was excited to see the end of Home Run, or not Home Run, <laughs> Point Break is on TV but it's the very end. I kind of missed that I saw it on. What happened to you this morning? What do you mean, what happened to me? Uh, hello, Shannon. Now I go on. I've gone on two nights in a row. Nate. Being so responsive. I really, right, okay, Nate, I appreciate you. Uh, watching Point Break 2. Are you, Pete? It's a good show. It was a good movie. I just caught the end of it. I just got home a little bit ago. Uh, I had kind of a long day, actually. I was going live, as I tend to do at 8 o'clock every morning. Tune in tomorrow at 8, please. Uh, I did have a great breakfast. And Jack Taylor, or a couple people, actually started talking about a new breakfast joint. I was here, Yvonne. I was on live at 8 o'clock this morning. And somebody, Jack Taylor and some other people, well, thank you, Dennis. I appreciate you. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Suggested I check out a new uh, breakfast joint in town. And I went to, it's called Rosie's uh, Home Bacon or Home Cooking or something like that. And it is veteran owned and veteran, uh, yeah, veteran operated. And I met, uh, what was the guy's name? What was the guy's name? I forgot already. I forgot already. What was his name? Oh, I got it right here. Silly me. Lynn. Lynn. A former Marine named Lynn Louder. And I apologize to any Marines out there. Uh, I guess there's not, no such thing as a former Marine because once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. And real nice guy. Um, shaved head. Apparently he served 10 years in the infantry and uh, served in Vietnam. And just really interesting guy, really kind guy, really cool guy. And has opened up this place, I don't know, a couple miles from my home. And does a great business. 
uh, does a great bourbon, uh, yeah, bourbon uh, business. All the tables were taken. I sat up at the bar, had an awesome, awesome meal. Really enjoyed my experience and can't wait to go back. So if anybody is in the uh, Naperville area, I can't recommend uh, Rosie's, especially if you're in the military or military or a veteran or you know a veteran or your dad's a veteran or what have you. Uh, I would think the experience there would be awesome. I think the experience there would be awesome. I never served, to be honest with you. A a U.S. Marine Corps just joined, I think. And uh, I would think if you were a veteran, this is the place you'd go. I mean, it'd be incredible. So uh, just, again, they have a ton of cool pictures, ton of cool atmosphere, really clean, beautiful place. And uh, I was just talking about the Marines, sir. I uh, went to a breakfast joint owned and operated uh, by a Marine uh, called Rosie's Home Cooking, I think it's called. And had a great experience, and it's veteran-owned and operated and had an awesome, awesome time. Welcome back. You were on my uh, morning page for a while, were you not? I think you are watching me in the morning for a little bit. Somebody just joined named Chillax. Hello. I'm having a pretty darn good day. Had an awesome, awesome breakfast. Had an appointment at 12. Uh, met a, a buddy slash watcher um, out uh, for coffee for a couple hours. And that was nice. Uh, interesting guy, a guy I've known. Hello, Grave Digger. Are you the one and only Grave Digger? Thank you all so much for joining. Is anybody doing... Hey, Keith. How are you, Keith? Drinking some lemonade tonight. Mm. Anyone drinking anything fun? After I met my buddy out at Starbucks for a bit, I met uh, several friends that I actually went to high school with out at a bar in uh, Wheaton. Actually, it's a golf course. Drinking some coffee. Nice job, Keith. Keith, have you ever been to Arrowhead Golf Course? Dennis is drinking some iced tea. Together, you and I make an Arnie Palmer, Dennis. And I went to Arrowhead Country Club, or golf course, and met some buddies, watched some games, and they were having some beers, and I was having a Heineken Zero. I had my two for the day, or actually maybe three. And a sweet tea. Shannon, you're from the South. It's so funny. Uh, I mean, not funny, haha, laugh at you, but I don't know. I don't exactly know what sweet tea is. Assume it's iced tea with sugar. Jack Taylor. Should serve our nation in the military. That's an interesting question. (coughs) Or interesting comment. What do you guys think about that? He said every American male should serve in our military. Uh, I mean, they do that in some countries. Yeah, well, (laughs) I I don't know. I don't know that they should have to. What is it called? Compulsory compulsory military service. I'm not saying the military would be bad for anybody. I would have struggled. You know, I looked into joining the National Guard for a while and <laughs> actually took the, whatever test you're supposed to take and went to the base. And my mom got really nervous and didn't like the idea of it. And uh, I was looking into it for uh, uh, college uh, money, to be honest with you, and ended up not joining. But uh, a good buddy of mine joined the National Guard. And um, yeah, two years. Audrey, are you saying yes? You think everyone should go? Why would it only be for men? Well, and nobody, everyone keep happy. Two years, then college. Israel requires three years. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys having talks. Two years for girls. Because, you know, I, only, I yeah, I don't. Boot camp works wonders. Yeah. Dude, the Marine Corps boot camp would have kicked my butt. I got a nephew who's a Navy SEAL. Hello, Todd. Is this Todd? No, that's not Todd, my buddy. I was out just out with a buddy named Todd who recently got on TikTok at my... I think I'm a real good salesman for TikTok. I'm so blown away with the platform and comparing it to other social media you know, platforms. 
I sing its praises, and I think I get a fair amount of people joining. You wish you would have gone to the military, Audrey? I wonder what branch you would have liked to have served in, in the military. What would you have liked to have done? Marines, Army, Air Force, Coast Guard? Oh, you guys are still joining. I'm not even hardly talking. Air Force. Air Force sounds cool. Air Force sounds cool. I don't know how much I have to say for you or how long I'm going to talk. Feeling kind of mellow. Kind of looking into getting in my PJs. Grabbing my remote control. Flipping my channels a little bit. I got to look up Johnny's sins. I keep hearing it. Yeah, Jack, I appreciate it. It's only my second evening with Ken. Sometimes I don't think I have as much to say. My days, I've kind of went through my day. Uh, what are we talking about? We're not talking about a heck of a lot. Johnny sins. Yeah. Do I look like Johnny sins, Jack Taylor? You wish you would have gone into the Marines, do you, Dennis? Uh, I have no plans to celebrate. Hello, chunk of change. I did not. Okay. Somebody just brought up my cookies. You guys sit there for a minute. <laughs> sit there. Don't go away. I'm still here. I'm still here. Last night, he has a video with my ex. I don't even know what that means. Well, let's just see Johnny Sins is an actor. I don't know what any of that means. So I got to Google Johnny Sins, apparently, I think, or should I not? But anyway, last night during my live broadcast, I had my sweet neighbor come on over and ring my doorbell. It kind of scared me. You know, when I was a kid, we used to ring doorbells, and we used to... Uh... Is that who he is? Is he bald? Jack Taylor, how do you know all this stuff? I mean, I guess with a name like Johnny Sins... Uh, yeah, anyway, my neighbor brought over a bag of cookies. And they look like they're little fa little Christmassy or I don't know what they are. I don't know, these kind of cookies. I'm going to eat them. You're going to smoke. Well, you do you. You do you. Is that a cigarette or a joint there, Lost Pinoline or Pin Team? I should get my glasses. I'm not going to wear my glasses. I appreciate you liking the lives. I don't know why anyone's liking this live. Women are the in the Marine Corps. Dog cookies. These are not dog cookies, Scott Concrete. That hurts my feelings. Melanie, thank you so much for following the host. Uh, go better with lemonade. Eh, I don't know. I'll tell you, the bread is really quality. We're not having coffee. That good. I don't think I'm good at that. I'm kind of winding down my night. I've had a good day. Got a lot done. And uh, should be in my PJs right now, laying on my couch, watching TV. But for some reason, I missed you guys a little bit. You're having sparkling water? Well, that's nice. Cheers to you and your sparkling water. Mmm. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, Jack Taylor, what did I do today? I did a whole bunch of things. Most, the most exciting thing, I am taking Augie to church tomorrow. You're watching the Chicago Bulls? I have grown weary. I mean, I used to be a big Bulls fan. I used to be a big sports fan. And I didn't even know the Chicago Bulls were on. I haven't watched two minutes of a game this year. And Shizzle for Rizzle. That's Katie. Is Shizzle for Rizzle? Oh, there's Shizzle for Rizzle. Katie, is that right? Is that you, Katie? I'm starting to learn some of your real names. Hi, Katie! I've talked to several people from here on TikTok. I didn't know that was ever going to happen. But I started talking to people. 
Not sure what great value it was to the people. I want what you're having. What is Shizzle having? What do you think Shizzle's having? What is she? Shizzle's from like Texas. What do you think they drink down in Texas when they're being naughty on a Saturday night? Crown and Sprite. Yeah, it's interesting. All right. Bulls are playing at home. Um, Holly's trying to get at my cookie. I don't want Holly to get my cookie. She's a little angry at me. Internet friends have a place and time, but don't look like people in the real world. <laughs> I'm not neglecting anybody. I just got home, chunk of change. Are you neglecting anybody? We need to talk more. Well, we could, maybe. I was out with people in the real world all day. You asked what I did. I'd say that, I mean, I don't know what the highlight of my day was, but I thought the breakfast joint I... Mm. Yeah, no, but I chunk of change. I just got back. I was out with, uh, let me see, Dan, Todd, Glenn, Rich, and Jeff. Five friends that I've had since high school. And uh, we met at a bar at a golf course, which is kind of interesting because I don't drink anymore. Although I did have Heineken Zero, which was nice. And uh, I don't know, spent a couple hours watching some fool, some fool. Some football. I'm saying silly things. Nice chill Saturday night. Perfect. It is perfect. It is perfect. It is cool. I had a lot of friends from a long time ago. I don't know. We all ran cross country together. Cross country and track. Not all of us, but most of us. And I think that kind of creates a little bit of a bond. And some of us went to college together. And uh, somebody was asking me about 1991 earlier, and I told a story about living in Lincoln Park by the Burwood Tap. Two of the guys I lived with in 1991 were out with me tonight, ironically, Glenn and Rich. Well, more people are watching than did a few minutes ago. We do share a history, and so many common friends and so many experiences. Thank you, Mama. I've heard that. I met a guy at Starbucks today. I didn't meet him there. We met there, but you know what I mean. We planned on meeting. It wasn't a chance meeting. And he also had a radio voice. And we talked about careers and passions and motivations and sobriety and Christianity and politics a little bit. And it was a real interesting conversation. He was not a, He didn't even know how to order at Starbucks. He almost might have said he'd never even been. RJ, see you later. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, you know, I had to show him the ropes. He doesn't even have a Starbucks app. What kind of man is that? You've been sober for 25 years? Congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hmm. Anyway. So, uh, again, I don't know what I have for you, but I did want to tune in tonight and just say hi, uh, see how you guys are doing, see how you guys are feeling. Uh, I'm enjoying this platform. I'm enjoying, I think we learn by doing, and I think we get better by doing. And again, I go live at every morning. Hello, Don. I go live every morning at 8 o'clock, but I've been kind of toying around, playing around at nights as well, just kind of seeing how the experience would be, seeing how many people tuned in, how many extra followers I got, what have you. I'd like to grow this page. I'd like to make this page... Uh, yeah, I'm in uh, Naperville. Uh, I like this make. You know, I like to keep growing it. I'm having fun doing it. I've been on for 14 months. And... Uh, no, oh, well, you're so sweet, uh, Katie. You're so sweet. That's so sweet. Look at Holly. Look at Holly. Look at her. She'll sit there and she'll put her head on my leg and stare at me. And I'll ignore her. And then she'll put, ram her little cold, wet nose into me. Yeah, she's a cutie. And she's a little upset with me because we didn't go for a walk. She's beautiful. She's uh, English Springer Spaniel. Now she came over to this side. You guys like her better than me, but that's okay. 
She's an English Springer Spaniel. She's a good girl. And uh, do you get to see Augie in the morning? No. Because I go live at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I pick up Augie at 9. She doesn't get a cookie. I did give her some pizza crust for anybody that feels bad. And uh, she really enjoyed that. I appreciate you for following the host. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I don't have much to say tonight. I'm just kind of relaxed and I'm kind of tired. And I uh, just wanted to hop on and say good evening. Uh, no, no, no. He's, I have my son. I have a, for anyone watching, I have about a 20-month-old son. And he's a beautiful little angel. And I have him sleep over maybe once a week. And uh, uh, yeah, please hop on tomorrow at 8. I don't know your name. But I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you tuning in. How did it go at the restaurant today? It went awesome. Faith, I did a video about it. Look at my videos. I did a, posted a video there. It was amazing. Hello, Don. Broadcasting during the sunrise. I don't know, Jack. I mean, I've done it. I've been talking out there. Uh, yeah, I, did a, I posted a video uh, earlier today with me at it and the food was awesome and the experience was incredible and for the record the guy the owner the most interesting thing i mean everything was interesting it was an awesome place the stuff on the walls were cool uh the gumball machines were even cool the bar was super cool the owner was super interesting everybody walking in with their veteran hats was super interesting there was a crowd at the door and i was sitting at the bar kind of near the door and uh, a few people needed to get in in a hurry. And I said, hey, I'll move over if you want. I, you know, I can move over to the seat next to me here at the bar. And it turns out they didn't even need me to move, but I just volunteered. And the owner, uh, super nice guy, picked up my tab for offering to move. It was just amazing. Again, it's a busy restaurant. It's got great food. It's got a ton of people in there. And this guy's coming up and shaking everybody's hand and handing him his card. And, you know, you know, if you ask anything about his story, he's tell you a little bit about his story. It was just a great, great experience. The food was awesome. The coffee was awesome. And I uh, had a real nice time. And I'm looking forward to going back. So, uh, yeah, no, it was great. Great, great. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate you for watching. I hope you watch tomorrow. I'll be live at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to get into my PJs, see what I can find on TV. Probably go to bed pretty early. And uh, look forward to my day with my little son tomorrow, uh, Augie. So um, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. A great Saturday night. Hope your weekend started off on a great note. Hope you're feeling good. Uh, hope you're loving yourself. Hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.